Hi guys, I'm Smita and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things AI and machine learning related. In today's video, I want to talk about the top five things you should know about machine learning and about being a machine learning engineer. These are things which are often not talked about and this is very important to know. Did you know that the most common use case for machine learning is actually for data classification? According to this study conducted by Appen, by looking at this table, you guys can see that out of all the research that they have done, the most common use case of ML was actually for data classification, followed by search relevance and content relevance, and then computer vision. Now, data classification is pretty broad and you can apply it to multiple different types of data. But this is a very good way to understand exactly how the industry is using machine learning. And when you're studying machine learning, you get recommended a lot of different projects, most likely from natural language processing on, or computer vision. Sometimes it's really good to stick with the basics and that is simple data classification or search relevance or content relevance. As you can see, these are regions where ML is used most of the times. And it seems that these are the regions in which a lot of tech companies are focusing to use ML. So search relevance refers to even within Google search, using machine learning to rank searches as well as content relevance. These are very important. On the right side of this table, you can also see the type of data which is used for each use case. You can see that majority of the data which is used is custom data which is collected. But the second type of data is actually synthetic data. Now synthetic data is data which is created by the data engineers or ML engineers. The reason why synthetic data is so important is that it reduces bias in your data. If you find that there's a lot of different biases in within your data, it's really important to add synthetic data to it in order to reduce bias. So it's very important that they have that. A lot of uh, use cases make use of pre-labeled data as well. Before we get started, major thanks to today's video sponsor, Satoshi Island. Satoshi Island is a Web3 project which is taking Web3 to real life. Satoshi Island is an island located in Manautu where you can buy and own land on the island by buying NFTs. The island plans to be fully sustainable and everything on the island from groceries, entertainment and food at restaurants can be purchased with Satoshi Island coin. You also get to construct these really cool houses designed by a world-renowned architect. And the most unique part is that you get access to one now to citizenship with their NFTs as well, which is actually super unique. They have a really cool roadmap ahead. In quarter two of 2022, we can expect the land NFT deed sales to start really soon. And in quarter three, they're going to be launching the citizenship NFT launch, which will give you access to one out of citizenship, followed by an NFT marketplace where you can buy and sell NFTs, especially for Satoshi Islanders. And it is set to launch on a tier one exchange and the links will be in the description box below, including all of their tokenomics and also their Twitter account, which is regularly posting updates. Fact number two, did you know that almost 91% of organizations actually update or retrain their model every quarter? That might come as quite a shock to a lot of people who think that, you know, once you train a machine learning model, you might not need to retrain it or it takes a really long time before you actually retrain it. But it turns out that 91% of companies actually retrain this every quarter of the year. So that's pretty shocking. And it actually turns out that more than 20% of companies actually retrain their model more than once a month. Now, there's a lot of reasons why this frequency of retraining is pretty high. The first reason could be that data is constantly changing. So they need to constantly update their machine learning model with the latest data in order for it to actually be accurate enough. Another reason why a company would want to frequently retrain their model is because they are more focused on pushing out a model or a product or service over perfection. So it definitely makes sense to actually put out a product 
versus just trying to perfect your model with as much data as possible. Especially the data is constantly changing. It would make sense to get a product out and then iterate and improve it over time. The third fact is that the average time spent on managing, cleaning, and preparing data has actually gone down. People assume that that is where majority of the time is spent, and that is true. However, it has definitely gone down over the years. Compared to 53% uh, of time, 53 of time being spent on cleaning and processing data in 2021, in 2022, machine learning engineers reported that they only spend about 47% of their time. And the reason why that this time has decreased is because processing has become automated in a lot of cases, and also cleaning has become automated in a lot of cases as well. Another major reason is that a lot of tech companies are outsourcing this cleaning and processing of data to other companies or asking other teams to actually deal with that and machine learning engineers actually focus on model creation and model pipeline creation. Another main reason why this time has decreased is that a lot of this data processing and data cleaning has been outsourced to external providers. So that has been a really good thing for a lot of tech companies. What they've done is they've noticed that it takes a long time to actually prepare and process and clean data. So now they've actually started to outsource it. The fourth thing that you should know about machine learning has to do with the quality of data. According to this study done by Appen, 51% of machine learning engineers and data scientists actually agree that accurate data is very important. However, only 20% of them actually reported achieving a data accuracy of over 80%. In majority of the use cases, there seems to be a lot of data available, but data quality is lacking. Because of how our world is structured and how the internet and devices are structured, there's a lot of data available, but the quality is lacking. So what I assume is gonna happen moving forward and the trends that we're seeing, especially with the previous case of data processing being outsourced, we might see that data accuracy and actually validating your data and creating an accurate data set from an existing data set could also be outsourced in the future as well. The fifth thing you should know about has to do with ethical AI. More than 93% of ML engineers and data scientists interviewed actually agreed that ethics is extremely important when it comes to creating any sort of ML models. And it's very important to take into account the different biases which exist within data as well as within a person, for example, who's creating the machine learning model. Moving forward, we could definitely see a trend where there could be a fixed set of guidelines for ML engineers to actually follow in order to ensure that they are ethically creating ML models. And that would be really excellent for all the people who are planning on using the service or ML model in any shape or form. So guys, those are the top five things you should know about machine learning and about machine learning engineers and their day-to-day -day, what kind of challenges they face and also what are their opinions on the direction in which the industry is moving towards. I think it's extremely important to stay informed on topics such as this and also the general consensus of the industry. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful and see you in my next video.